Hey you guys, what is up? Happy Sunday to you guys. Um, I have so much stuff that I want to say and I'm gonna try not to make this like a rambling on video um, and just try to get straight to the point. So first thing is first, um, if you are watching this right now, share it with the best friend, honey. I love for you guys to watch my videos, but it's always fun when your girlfriends can have some. I'm gonna give you guys some great information and just give you a different way of looking at investing into yourself. So we invest into ourselves and our businesses and our homes and our cars. Honey, you've got to get this temple right from the inside and the out. And with that being said, I'm going to tell you guys not one, two, or three different tips on why you should invest into a custom-made wig, but maybe five or six. I don't know. I'm just going to let the vibe just lead me. So I'm not going to say, oh, it's three tips and to be 20, honey. So get ready to learn, get ready to be inspired, and get ready to just um, embrace my information in a different way when you're thinking, oh, that's too much. I can't do that. Girl, no, I would never pay that much. Think again. Okay, so before we get into it, I'm going to let you guys know that this wig is by Chrissy Ann um, Styles, a luxury hairstyles here in Indianapolis, Indiana. She's in Carmel. No matter where you are in the entire world, you can have a custom-made wig done and sent to you. So it doesn't matter where you live. Um, I want to tell you that this custom-made wig that I'm wearing is actually 22 inches um, and it hits right above the top of my little bum. Just to let you know, if you really want to see how long it is, you can go to my Instagram page and look at some of my previous posts and you'll see exactly how long it is. I couldn't get the camera to do all that, honey. Um, and this one is a size small. I want to let you know that when I say customize, I mean customizable. So maybe your head is smaller than small. That's fine. It will customize the small cap to fit your exact size of your head. Um, small, medium, or large, if it needs to be bigger, whatever you need to do, it will be customized to fit your head. And I'm telling you, it's like a glove. I literally sleep in this wig. That's why it looks like this right now, but we're gonna get her back on point. Um, and so what else do I wanna let you know? There's different wigs. If you ever go to the beauty supply store and you wear one that has those temples to show you where you should put it, that's kind of hard. So then when you wanna put it behind your ear, that big old flap is right there. Maybe you don't like that. You don't have to get that type. They are, have different types of wig caps. You'll be able to choose. Choose how long you want your hair, the density, what color, if you want Brazilian hair, if you want Peruvian hair. Girl, pick what you want. It's your world. So don't forget right now, share this video. Share it with a friend. Send it to her inbox. Tell her to watch this right now. There's nothing worse than finding some good information and then they go, girl, what'd she say? And you got to repeat every single thing or wait for her to watch it. Then she'll come back and tell you what she thinks. Let's just all just gather in right now and watch it right now together. So I'm going to give you a minute to do that. Where I'm at is, I can drink wine right now where I'm at, so mind your business. Mm. I'm actually getting ready for a brunch with like, probably like six different couples, so I don't have that much time, so I'm gonna stick to the point. I'm wearing right now, in case you want to know, honey, right now I'm lounging around and um, I have on this cute little two-piece, is sheer mesh, a little jacket, and then it has a little skirt that goes to it. <laughs> You can't see it, but there's a skirt. There's a skirt, and it's not high-waisted, but I pulled it up. But a cute little skirt, and um, this is a bodysuit, and it's backless. It has no back, uh, but mommy's kind of heavy up at the top. Slim everywhere else, baby, but a little heavy up here. So I got a little, you know, swimsuit top on to do what I need to do to keep it classy and not nasty. Um, but Amy's is local here in Indianapolis. I love my local people that are putting in this work and getting out here on this grind and bringing quality products to us. I just love it, love it, love it. Because Fashion Nova started somewhere. Forever 21 started somewhere. So we so quick to go to them, honey, but they started somewhere. And there were people that supported them when they were right where they are. We have no idea how big all of our locals are going to be. And so I'm just jumping on board right now because the quality of the customer service is great. And I'm all for that. So go to Amy's. Um, you can go to her um, Instagram and check out all the things they have. They have sales, they have giveaways, they do so much. Love, 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 Amy's, okay? Um, another thing I need to let you guys know, because I know you're going to start asking me, I have on red Too Faced lipstick, and this one is called Lady Balls, and it is kind of drying, so here in a second, I'm actually going to put on some Vaseline, because honey, I can barely move my lips, but it definitely gives you that, mm, if you want to be a pouty, pow, pow, pow. This is the lipstick for you. So um, I love this one. I just got this from Sephora here in Indianapolis, Keystone at the Crossing. They have everything. Their makeup artists there know what they're talking about, know what they're doing. So you want to check that out. So um, I think I have put in the plug, honey. Plugged it in. The lights are on. Let's shine. But before I do that, I'm putting on my little Vaseline or something because I can barely move my lips. I'm telling you, that is 
That toothpaste is perfect for like being out, drinking wine, eating, mm. kissing, doing what you need to do, honey, being grown. It's perfect for that because it is, when it gets on, it is on. Mm. Oh yeah, that feels real good. So now I can, jeez, ooh, ah, I can do what I need to do. I can barely move my mouth, honey. So, okay. So again, last night was a late one for me. So I slept in my custom-made wig by Chrissy Ann. And um, you wanna, I wanna invite you guys personally. Right now, there's an event going on in Indianapolis, in Cornwall. I think the address is 600 East Carmel Drive. The post is in my story on Instagram. Swipe up, it'll give you all the information. It's completely free. It is kind of like a, like a festival maybe, or like, um, there's all kinds of vendors that are gonna be there. They're gonna have food, they're gonna have music, they're gonna have wig trial sessions. So if you wanna try on, maybe you've never wore a custom made wig, you have no idea what you are missing. You don't know the difference. Go and you can try it on. It starts at two to 5 p.m. today. So I'm gonna hurry up and get this video out so you can have a little bit of time to get yourself together. You can also, honey, start getting dressed while I'm doing this video. Multitask right now, cause you're gonna wanna go. Um, eyebrows, makeup, clothes. I mean, just everything for your whole self to be that woman that is well put together, well groomed. You wanna go to this and see how we do it because I'm one of those women. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Demon brush. I wanna let you know that I got this week almost three weeks ago now. And I have yet to wash this wig because, honey, she just bounces back. And I'm telling you, uh, I do a lot of lotion, a lot of, hand, uh, you know, oils and things. And I touch my hair. I put my hair behind my ear. I run my hair, honey. I, somebody, I flip it. And this hair is still bouncy. So this is overnight after I have been asleep. You see, it's kind of tangled. But with my Demon brush, I just lightly just brush it, girl. And it just come right back. Look, bam, bam, bam. Versus this side that's been tangled up in the sheets all night. And then here we go. And I got a little bit of a little cold and getting over a little, little something, something. So excuse me sniffling or anything like that. So, you know, so I just wanna show you how easy. Now, if this was a wig off of the rack that was made for a million folks' heads, honey, and a million folks' lifestyles, um, you would not be doing this. You would need some water. You would need all kinds of stuff to bring her back. So she's back just with the flick of my demon brush. Do you see her? Do you see her? Do you see her? She's walking through the mall, honey. She's walking through Walmart, honey. She's walking into her office, honey. She is everywhere. That's her. So, um, so this wig, her name is actually Jody. I named her Jody. Changed her name a couple times because I had to get to know my girl. Her name is Jody. So this is Jody. I have a display of wigs over here behind this camera. They all have names. They all have silk bonnets and they live their life. So this is, um, this one, I forget what it's called, but this is a wide closure lace front. So I can have a really deep part. I can twist this wig and adjust it if I want it in the middle, the side, whatever I want to do because it's custom made for me. It feels like I have on maybe a really cozy hat and I forget I have it on. So I have two combs, one here, one here, and then there's one in the back. Of course, it's adjustable if I want to make it tighter one day, if I'm going to be working out, if I'm going to be getting a little bit, you know, hat, hat. Uh, then I want to tighten her up just to make sure we're good and she's rolling with me the whole time I can do that I'm telling you so let me tell you I'm actually gonna put some curls in this because it has been three weeks I want to switch it up I love variety love to change things up um, and again I'm gonna get up here and let you see her so get up close get up personal honey what you're seeing is what you get um, and so like I said, um, I can pull her back a little bit more and pull out some of my real hair edges if I wanna iron out the front of my hair so when the wind blows, whatever I wanna do, you gotta get very creative with it to make it yours. Okay, so let me tell you why I think that all women should invest into custom-made wigs. First of all, you're gonna save money, girl. When you think that you can't afford it and when you think that I would never pay that much, you are paying that much. And you're paying that much for wigs that are $59, $99, whatever it is, and you can't have sex in them, you can't work out in them, they feel like they're going to fall off. Those combs are made of little metal, and they break out the edges of your hair. Girl, the list goes on. It doesn't make sense. 
And then don't forget when you go to work out in it, it just turns, you can probably get two workouts. If your trainer, my trainer is Clarence Hyduff Walton here in Indianapolis. He does virtual training as well. So wherever you're at, if you want a trainer, you can hit him up as well, honey. I work with national world renowned people that you can get their services wherever you are. So if you are interested in a trainer, you want to check him out. But if he's a beast, if your trainer is a beast like mine, and you don't have time for no hair, you definitely don't have time for no synthetic hair. Because when you get done working out, it'd be all matted and knotted and I'm busy. I got places to go. As soon as I leave the gym, I've got to wipe off and get dressed for the next thing. I don't have time to be combing out no thing, putting mousse on it, putting water on it, breaking it up, taking it down. Girl, please, I don't have time for it. So it's going to definitely save you time and you will be able to do your workouts and things because this is real here. Right off her head, honey, onto her eyes. Off her head onto eyes. That's all it is. So, um, you know, you will be able to um, work out in your wig, put it up in a bonnet. It's going to respond just like real hair. So it might get a little damp because you're going to be sweating, but pin it up. By the time you wash off and get dressed up and dry it out and brush it, I'm telling you, you're going to be back in business. It doesn't make sense. But I got another little trick for you I want to tell you about um, as far as working out. Chrissy Ann also has um, wig glam cap. So it's a cap, a baseball cap with like four tracks of luxury hair sewn on so you can get the same deal besides you don't have to wear like your she hair. I'm about to be boss hair. You don't have to wear that. You can just wear your hat. And did I post about that? I think I posted about that last week. It's in my story. If you go back and look at it, I have a little tab that says Strength Factory. When I work out, I have it on there. And I'm actually gonna do a more cl close and up and personal because there's a lot of questions about this wig cap. Um, it's a glam cap because you still can wear it out if you wanna go out somewhere. So anyway, so the first thing is you're gonna save money if you get a custom made wig. Second of all, you're gonna save your edges because you are, this is not gonna be too big to where when you have on a wig that's too big, it's constantly shifting, moving around on your head and it's going to put pressure around the perimeter of your hair and break off your hair. I know this for a fact, I've done it, girl. I've been wearing custom made wigs for about 10 years and they've get, they're getting better and better and better. But I'm telling you before that, I would just go keep buying them. You're gonna realize that you're going and buying these synthetic wigs or maybe they are human hair wigs, but they are not made for your head. And so they're just not gonna be a good fit. That's why people customize things because you want something that's gonna be a good fit that's just for you. Um, third of all, my love life, honey. I will jump in these sheets anytime, any day. Me and Jody, we go in and we will get it in. I hate to get nasty, honey, but you know I can. Now, because I don't have to worry about it. This hair is not going to get matted and crinkled up and messed up. It's not. It's going to respond just like it would if it was on her head. So all I got to do is brush it out, honey. All I got to do if, I want, if I'm really about to go down, put it up in a bun and do what I need to do and be a grown lady. And it's not going to come off. It is not going to come off. I'm telling you, I do deadlifts. I do burpees. I do push-ups, sit-ups, lift weights, and it does not move. So you want a wig that's going to be able to flow with you. If I believe I could go swimming in this wig, and I'm going to definitely try it out and let you guys know when it comes to swimming season. But when you have a custom-made wig, it's just like sucks onto your head. It's crazy. And don't forget, you get to choose what type of cap you want. So while you're watching this video, don't forget to be sharing it. Don't forget to go check out Chrissy Ann on Instagram. And then she has a Chrissy Ann luxury hairstyle page full of hair. And then if you wanna to go to the event and you're in Indianapolis, you wanna be there between two to five o'clock and just explore. Now, for me, my love life changed because I'm not like, oh, not today, honey, you're in this wig, honey. I got an event, I can't be messing up this hair later. I got an event in two hours, I can't mess up my hair, baby. Wait, just hold on, whatever. You know, at the gym, my trainer doesn't have to be like, Angel, get it together, leave your hair alone. Because I'm tucking wigs and I'm pulling wigs and I'm scared it's about to come off and fall off while I'm doing my sit-up. I don't have any of that. I definitely have saved money. I have one, I have a couple of wigs that I've had for over six or seven years and I still rock them and they still look luxurious. They hold their luster, they hold their shine. And it seems like when you color them, they get prettier and prettier and softer and softer. So, uh, softer and softer. So I just wanna say, we invest in every single body else and everything else you have got to invest in your head. That is one of the first thing that people look at is your hair, your eyes, your teeth, and your mouth. They look at you right here and that's gonna determine a whole lot for your life. Invest in it. I'm telling you, tell them kids, no, I'm not buying you an iPhone because what is that doing for your life? Do something for you. You have got to invest in yourself. Be a well-groomed woman. Be a woman that is a busy woman that just doesn't have time for all the hustle and bustle with all this synthetic hair and all these different weaves and weaves. Be a woman that is a business woman and you are boss. Your hair needs to be flawless at all times because you're setting a statement. 
do that if you're setting the stage. Be a mother that is busy ripping and running her kids around and she wants her hair, if nothing else, because she feels so beat down, she needs that hair to at least uplift her and make her feel good. I'm telling you, the things that I have that are custom made really actually makes me a better parent, a better wife, a better everything. Because when I'm done with everybody else, I have things that are just for me. I come in this glam room. This is my glam room. You can't see everything that's in here. But a lot of this stuff is just for me. And sometimes when I am giving, giving, giving to every single person, I come in here and I just say, I'm in my space. This is all for me, right? And so when I step out every day, I'm refreshed because this is for me. It fits perfect. It's just for me. It's just big enough for my hand. It's just heavy enough. It fits my waist just perfectly. So I'm all into customizable things. And I just ask you guys, try it. Just try it. Just invest in yourself one time. You will never look back again. Um, so that is how, you know, my custom made wig has changed uh, my love life, changed my fitness life, saved my beloved edges, and I saved a ton of money because I'm not running and getting wigs every two and three weeks. And if you're one that's still going to the beauty shop, child, ain't nothing wrong with going to the beauty shop, but I'm saying if you are, then you just need to have a backup wig that's going to look just as good as your hair does when your stylist does your hair because you can't always get in. It's the holiday season. They're busy. They don't have time, honey. And I just hate to be, you know, my, for my image to be in somebody else's hands. I'm waiting on you to tell me if I can come at 3 or 4 or 5 o'clock. I can't do it. Okay. So, anyway, you guys. Mm. Let's see how she curls. This will be my very first time putting any type of ringlets or anything in her. And I'm gonna be wearing a dress tonight from Amy's. Not tonight, actually in about an hour and a half. I'm gonna be wearing a dress from Amy's. And it is a, a, a sweater body dress off the shoulders. It is a real pretty cream, natural color. I'm actually wearing an open toe um, sandal because of the uh, buckles around the ankle because honey, I won't be walking anywhere but stepping out of the car right onto the, the inside of the building. So I'm all good. Now, I'm going to show you how I do this because I don't want a whole bunch of little bitty curls. I don't want to look like I got a roller set. I just want something very simple, very subtle, um, that'll give me just a little bit of a girlish, fun, flirty look for my husband today. That's all I want. And so, I'm going to stand up. And this hair, let me see if I can show you. This hair is this long, okay? And I am just going to, I always wand my hair away from my face. I just want it on the very ends of my hair and that's why oh see it this hair is so soft it can barely even stay on here girl okay let's try it again so i want it on the very ends of my hair and the very end i don't wrap around because i like that loose bed hair look so if i wrap this all the way around it'll be like a perfect little curl perfect little shirley temple and i don't really want that i want to have effortless body waves so, and I'm using big pieces. I want my hair to be bone straight at the top and just have little curls, little waves, not little, but big waves at the bottom. So we'll see. So I actually am using a Revlon wand that I actually got from the Goodwill and uh, I don't, probably like 10 years ago, but I got a brand new um, Remington flat iron that I haven't used on this hair yet because she's just been staying um straight on our own okay so there's that so there's one piece and again this is oh this is remington too i'm sorry i have remington so this is the remington wand and i actually have it on i actually just turned it up i have it on i have it on 400 because this hair is long and this is real hair so i could go all the way up to 500 if i need to and it will not burn or melt or anything weird like that so I just basically took a piece from the top and a piece from the bottom. Now, oh, rock it. <laughs> and uh, so let's do the same thing here. I'm gonna go up a little bit higher in the front. So, ah, girl, I'm telling you this hair is so luxurious that, did I leave any straight pieces? Yeah, I did right there. This hair is so soft and so luxurious that it is like silk in my hands right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go up a little bit higher in the front because I do want a little bit more of a body wave towards my face. So, there we go. And I'll leave it on there for about maybe 60 seconds. Um, this chair is making so much noise. 60 seconds because the hair is very long and it's kind of thick. So, yeah. So I hope I am, you know, giving you a different 
uh, way to think about like investing in yourself, investing in your wardrobe, investing in your nails, just being a well put together groomed woman. You don't have to do it the way I do it, but just think of whatever you can invest in. And if you have been interested, so many people ask me about these wigs, but they're scared to invest. They don't know if it's gonna be great quality. The good thing about Christiane is that if you're local, you can just run up, you know, you can meet her face to face. Um, and she just held a class too. And I believe there's some videos of that. So there's that. See, these are loose. I don't want, see how, what I'm going for here? I see what I'm going for. I do not want a head full of curls. Just turn that down. Only thing about these two is that you got to be careful uh, because it will turn down on you. So you'll be doing your hair thinking that it's on 400 and it, it went down. Okay, so there's that. Now, in the back, you have to pull it around, honey. You have to pull it around to the front to where you at. Luckily, the hair is nice and long. I'm going to come up a little bit and let you see the shine on this hair. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. So I'm going to break this up into three pieces because I do love to have more curls in the back. When people see you from the back and see curls hanging down your back, it is a beautiful sight to see. So we're going to do three here. Again, I'm still curling away from my face. And there's that. We'll keep that on there for 60 seconds. And the reason why I like to wait until I curl my hair to where I've worn it for like three weeks when it's time for a wash is because um, when it's straight, I just love it to just flow, you know? And when it's um, needing to be washed, I'll go ahead and put a curl in it because I know I'm gonna wash it in probably like a week. And don't forget, this is not your real hair. In case you're like, is she nasty? No, girl, this is not attached to your cuticles on your head. Your hair, this hair is protected by, first of all, you should have on a wig cap and then the cap that the hair is sewn onto. So it's technically not getting, you know, any filth like that to the actual base of the cap. It's just the hair at the end from your hands and, you know, the humidity and whatever. That's why I end up washing it so that I can keep that part clean and keep it bouncy and all of that. So, um, there it goes. But look at these curls, girl. Look at these. Still shiny, still beautiful. Okay. So, there's another one away from the face. Oh my God, this lipstick is just popping. Mm. <laughs> I love it. And I definitely uh, encourage you guys to comment, talk to me. Um, I love that I adore it so much and I just love to have conversations because other people just sitting there do. Let's have a conversation. I want to know if you are interested in seeing the wig cap off my head, and if you want like a tour of Jody, do you want to explore her and see what she looks like in the inside? What, you know, what everything looks like up close and up personal versus me just telling you that it has a calm here, a calm there. Are you interested in seeing her up close and up personal? Because if so, we will arrange for that and do that. Okay, so, and then I'm gonna tell you what I do is I do not comb these out. So I'm not officially dressed at all for um, for later today. I'm not dressed. So I am just going to, um, I'm not dressed. So what I'm gonna do is just let her hang in the wind, honey, while I run around this house, get dressed, do what I need to do. I need to tighten up my makeup, do a little bit more contouring, get these eyebrows together. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this red lipstick on because Lovey loves this lipstick. So we're gonna keep this on and make his day. I love it too. And uh, then I will um, just shake it out. I won't even run a comb through it. Sometimes when you do that, you may experience some frizziness, um, but not with this hair. It's not gonna get frizzy, but I just want it to have like a natural fall to it, you know? So I'm not even gonna touch it. And because it's not curls that are, you know, starting from the base of my hair, they're gonna fall beautifully on their own. And you can already see that just from, just from what I'm doing right here. So, as I get closer to my face, I go up, I go up higher. 
um, because I want to have more volume towards my face. And they're gonna fall because this hair is so long. These curls are gonna fall anyway. And so, it, you know, it's, it's gonna be pretty. All right, you guys, so I'm going to do this last curl and I'll be posting a picture after I'm dressed. Um, let me know if you like it. If you have more questions, you can DM me. You can DM Chrissy, which would be perfect because she is gonna have a ton more information for you. But I can definitely always comment to you and talk to you about my experience and you know everything on a personal level. So, I'm gonna do our last curl here. You see where this curl is gonna start right by the eye. If you if you know me, do you see that sassiness is right there? See where it right above my eyebrow? That's where that curl is gonna be laying, honey. Yes, laying, getting my way. Anything that I want. That's what I do. <laughs> All right, you guys. So again, I'm gonna finish this last curl. And um, the event today is wig and um, wigs and wine. I've already started, but it's wigs and wine. It's gonna be at 600 East Cromwell Drive. Um, I'm going to repost again, just in case, but I'm posted already the actual flyer to invite you guys um, on my story in Instagram. And it's a free event. You can bring friends. Um, it's just going to be a, a very uh, luxurious event. So there's the curls, honey. Chrissy Ann is in the building. Let's see if I can scoot down a little. love it all right you guys so yes so you'll be able to see it better um, once I get fully dressed all right you guys so have a great day and thanks for watching my video if you like it let me know comment there's no really like you can follow me I guess but this is not like YouTube I'm used to saying subscribe and all that you don't need to do all that just show me you love me baby all right see you next time bye